Isn't it nice to start your Sunday off with a little cute sleeping baby? Oh, Violet, she's such a sweetie. Um, I am about to make dinner. Once again, we haven't done anything interesting today, of course. <laughs> um, but I'm excited for dinner. It's gonna be good. Um, I'm doing like a Southwest steak with Spanish rice and um, it's called feta street corn. So um, I think that's gonna be pretty good. I'll show you the ingredients here. So first of all, um, we have top round London broil steak and then some Southwest seasoning. We're using apple cider vinegar and um, some, some brown sugar and some Worcester sauce. And then for the side dish, um, I just got some more Spanish rice because I like their um, box packaging the best. And then for the side dish of the corn, I'm um, supposed to use fresh corn, but they only sold big packages at Walmart. Um, they didn't have any individual, so I'm just using some frozen that I had in the freezer. Um, so Austin and I will share this. And then um, there's the feta cheese. You use chili powder, sour cream, and mayonnaise. So it should be pretty good. Um, so I'm gonna get started on that and We'll just have dinner and I don't know what else we're really gonna do tonight. Um, there's actually a Christian concert tonight. Sean McDonald's playing at, at a church here in town, but uh, once again, it's probably not the best idea to take a baby to that. So um, there's certain things like that that we're just deciding not to, not to do. Um, things that we would normally do, but um, we just wanna protect her ears and um, just make the best decisions as parents so um, that's the plan right now and uh, we'll just keep you guys in the loop as we go through our week hopefully we'll do something interesting I would enjoy that <laughs> all right I'll show you guys when the food's all done all right so here's the finished product there's the steak which now that it's in the light I see that it's way too pink for me um, and there's rice and then the street corn corn probably doesn't taste as good as it could because it was oops, there goes my fork um, because it was frozen and it came from Austin's dad and sometimes stuff that he has has been there for a while <laughs> so anyways um, Looks good. Austin said it's good. Mm. So. so if you cook the meat anymore, it's gonna be too dry. Oh, I don't like it like that. Here's little Violet. She just had some food, so she's a little bit milk drunk. Mm. So cute. And there's the boys. <laughs> Happy Monday. Uh, it is Monday morning almost afternoon um, and I am dressed and showered and um, Violet is hanging out in her swing and I need to put her to bed soon obviously she's still um, well she's sleeping but I don't really want her sleeping in the swing it's not very good because she needs to get used to just sleeping on her back um, because we want to make sure that we can always lay her down to take a nap. So, <sighs> yeah. So it's Monday morning. Um, Austin and I this week are trying to get up at 6 every day um, to have time to read our Bibles and just talk with each other, have our coffee. Uh, well, he has coffee. <laughs> um, I did have some chai this morning. Um, I look so tired. I'm just noticing that. Um... But I only got five hours of sleep last night. I took an hour nap, so that means I've had six hours of sleep. But it's not the same as just, you know, sleeping for a straight amount of time. But that's okay. Um, Violet went to sleep at a good time. She went to sleep at 10. No, well, I fed her at 10, and she went to sleep, like, right after. Um, but 
instead of sleeping like a straight five hours, she woke up at like two something and so I had to feed her again. And then she woke up again at five. So then I was up at five and I was up until my alarm went off at six because I had to feed her and change her and burp her and do all those things. Um, hopefully as she gets older, the feeding times will get shorter and I'll get more sleep in between. But right now that's what, what's happening. But anyway, so I got up at six. I went back to bed at like 7.30ish with her. Um, wait, no. She, because I only slept for an hour. Um, oh yeah, she was awake. So I actually, I did some stuff um, here around the house. I swept the floors and um, did some dishes. So, and then I slept for an hour and then woke up and took a shower, um, did some stuff on the computer, and now I'm gonna finish the dishes. I need to eat lunch because it's 12. Um, and today's bathroom day, so I need to do some laundry, clean the bathroom. I wanna work on her room and finish that today. And I'd also like to get outside and take a walk. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll see how far I get. I'd like to get everything done by 3 o'clock, so that gives me a few hours. Um, but I do have to feed her in between then and now, so probably won't make it, but we'll see. I'm going to do my best. Um, I don't think I'm going to go anywhere today. I was going to go to a store because I had a coupon, but I didn't read the coupon directions right because someone had given it to me, and you need their receipt in order to um, use it, and it's for the children's place. Um and I remember, I, I'm pretty sure she sent the receipt, but I was like, oh, I'm not going to return what she bought me. So I just threw the receipt away, and I kept the coupon. <laughs> but anyways, that's obviously not going to work. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to make some lunch, eat that, and um, get going on everything else and just try to get everything done like a mad woman. Hey guys, I'm out on a walk with Violet, as you can see, and Toby. Um, Toby's being a pretty bad boy, I think, because he hasn't been on a walk in so long that he's just like been pulling the whole time. But um, I haven't walked this walk since I was the day I went into labor, so it's very surreal to be walking it again with Violet. Makes me really happy. Um, and so I'm looking at the steps, you know, that I went down and, um, well, I, I'm only doing half of what I did the day that I went into labor, but, um, yeah, it's really surreal. It's so nice out here. I'll show you Violet. She's just sleeping. slippers on. Okay, so it is now like 4.30 and I am done with all of my things that I wanted to get done today pretty much besides working on Violet's room. Um, and right now I am nursing her. So we just did... Just a little bit. You want to say hi? You want to say hi, Violet? And say hi. Say hi, baby girl. Say hi. You smiling a little bit? Violet. Violet. Wake up. Wake up, little girly. Wake up. Hey. <laughs> Anyways, um... Oh, now she's smiling. Uh, yeah. So, I'm waiting for the bathroom floor to dry. Then I'll put everything back in. And um, after I finish nursing her, I'm going to um, 
start cooking dinner. Austin has to be at a Bible study at 6.30, so I need dinner on by s at least 6. Um, and tonight we're going to have chicken kebabs with um, a spicy dipping sauce and spicy couscous. Sorry, dropping the phone here. So that's what we're having today. That's what we're doing. Um, so I'm going to get back to this little girl. All right, so dinner is prepped and I'm just about to um, actually cook it. So like I said, we're doing um, chicken kebabs. And so this is the chicken. And then um, there is onions to go on the kebabs, red peppers, and then these are the ingredients for the dipping sauce. Um, use Dijon, Dijon mustard, sour cream, um, mayonnaise, salt, the oils for grilling the um, kebabs, and then for the couscous, um, I have couscous, and then some canned peas and carrots to go in there with some green onions, and then you're supposed to use um, crushed red peppers, but that really messes with my stomach, so I'm not going to do that to Violet, so that is the ingredients for tonight's dinner. Okay. <clears throat> uh, this is what's left. It doesn't look like much because um, I had to deassemble the skewers. Um, and because I got a hold of it. The grill was taking too long, um, and Austin needs to go, so he's chowing down. Um, here's the chicken dish and then the couscous with the peas and carrots and green onions, which is tasty, and the dipping sauce. So. That's dinner. Um, hey guys, it's Wednesday, and I hope you're having a good. Actually, sorry, no, it's Tuesday. Wow. <sighs> My brain is still a little crazy. Um, so yeah, it's Tuesday, and I somewhat prepared for the day at least I kind of did my hair today <laughs> um, I'm driving out to go see Deacon and this is the first time I've gotten to see Deacon with Violet so that's gonna be fun she gets to meet her horsey um, it's a warm day today so I'm glad that um, I can go today while it's still warm because I was a little worried about taking her out when it's super cold and um, I know she's going to get exposed to the cold, but um, since she's so little, I, I still am kind of trying to protect her as much as possible from that, even though I know technically the wind can't make you sick, but um, so that's what I'm doing. My mom came by today and um, said hi and brought me a pumpkin spice latte, which was super yummy and sweet of her. Um, it's actually International Coffee Day, so uh, it's kind of fun. Yeah, I haven't done a whole lot today. Um, I did do some chores this morning, but um, this is kind of my big outing, and it's like 2 o'clock something, so um, it's just kind of a low-key day, but um, that's okay. It's kind of going to be the new norm, I think. Um, I'm not working and got to get some stuff done around the house so I'm, I'm looking forward to you know once I kind of have my rhythm down um, I'm looking forward to just being able to work on some projects that I've wanted to work on for a long time like going through boxes that I haven't gone through since I got married and um, just organize it's a lot of like organizational type things and just getting my house you know decorated the way I want to and pictures printed and um, just some fun things like that that I just never had time for when I was working full-time so right now I don't have time either but I know once things settle down with Violet and I'm still like writing thank you notes um, for baby shower gifts and meals that were brought to us so there's still a lot to do just kind of that is um, immediate stuff that needs done, but I know that once um, those things are taken care of, I can do some of that project work, so 
I'm looking forward to it. Um, and I will try to vlog if um, nobody's out at the ranch. Um, because then it's easier because nobody's talking to me. Because if somebody's out there, then they're going to be talking to me. So, yeah. And we'll see how it goes. Oh my gosh, you guys. I had to walk the whole 20 acres to go see Deacon because the owner is doing work in the front 10 acres. So he has the horses in the back 10. Oh, so, oops. I'm gonna lose the blanket. Anyways, just had to walk all the way to the back here. It's Violet. my chest I guess. Wow. It's like 3.30 now. I'm supposed to be leaving. Oh. Okay, this is not working. I'm gonna have to cut this right here. Everybody wants to see the baby. Yeah, that's Violet. Yeah. It's Violet. Whew, this afternoon was kind of crazy. Um, <laughs> so I'm home now, it's 6.30. I just had to run to the store because I forgot one of my ingredients for dinner. Well, I didn't have enough, basically. I didn't buy enough, so. Um, that's always irritating when you have to go to the store for one thing. And the store nearest us didn't have it because it's a grocery outlet, so it doesn't always have everything, which is so annoying. Um, so I had to go down to Safeway. Um, but tonight it's called Easy Turkey Ragu with um, pasta and French bread. Um, so here's the ingredients. There's turkey, some butter, onions, garlic, um, Italian seasoning, salt and pepper, and then I'm making, I'm making the sauce, so diced tomatoes, um, and then I have French bread and pasta, um, and then I'm also going to make a salad to go with it too, so, um, I'm going to add the meat because my butter is melted. Okay, here's the final product. There's the bread, turkey ragu, and then I made a salad to go with it too. Um, you're probably thinking that's a lot of salad, but I love salad, so um, let's see. Can't see myself. Okay, there we go. Um, I love salad, so I kind of tend to eat a bigger salad towards the evening, especially if I don't um, eat vegetables or a lot of vegetables during the day. So that's kind of my way of packing in some more fruits and veggies, or I guess it's not fruit, <laughs> just veggies. Um, so we're just waiting on Austin. He's always oh, coming in now. He was doing, um, getting cable ready for our, we're gonna get some new internet um, or a new provider. So he was getting that ready. And so we're just waiting on him. And little Violet, she's here swinging. Are you swinging, baby? You done? <sighs> a lot of work, yeah. Good. You can grab the chair. Huh? The chair. You grab the chair. Oh, yeah. Wait, what are you doing? I see the neighbors. <laughs> Yeah, just kidding. Oh, well, yeah, somebody's working. What are you recording? You. Ooh, that's really good. I'm so hungry. Come on, buddy. Let's go inside. Come on, Drake. Drake, let's go. Drake, come on. 
Okay, we're gonna eat dinner, so have a good night. Afternoon on Wednesday. Um, it's my favorite day, right? Um, normally it is. It, it's starting to get better. It was a little rough this morning. I was just, I was pretty tired and just a little, I don't know, frustrated is a word, but just, um, Violet was just being really strange last night, being really fussy about nursing, and then she'd only nurse like for five minutes, which isn't normal for her, so then I was like stressed about, you know, why is she acting like this? Um, so last night I didn't push it, I mean, when she woke up I would nurse her for like five minutes on one side, she'd fall back asleep and I would just lay her down, because I wasn't going to try and force her to do the other side, and it would be a big deal, so... my parents um, with Violet 